Good morning. Good morning. We're at home today and the house is even more of a mess than it was when we got home yesterday because I'm actually cleaning it up. So what that means is I'm moving mess from one place to another place. But look at the living room. The living room is clean. Sort of. Except for that couch. Shoot! Started vlogging too soon. Oh well. I just uh, pulled everything out from my living room here. Pull all the couches away from the walls and everything and I swept and uh, Actually, got on my hands and knees and scrubbed the floor. You can see my little container of cleaner stuff over there. Scrubbed the floor underneath the couches and whatnot. I still got to do it out here yet. Cleaned off all the surfaces, so there we go. Feeling good already. Let's take these boys outside. You guys want to go outside? You want to go outside? Yeah? And there they go. Well, their diesel goes and the sergeant's chasing him, like usual. Look at all my trees, guys. You remember last time we were home, there was at least still some leaves on the trees, right? Every single leaf in Manitoba is on the ground now. So sad. Next time we're home, there'll probably be snow back here on the ground. I gotta fix my shed. What's going on with my shed door over there? Oh my. So there's my new internet tower on top of my house. It's only 10 feet high instead of 15 feet high like the last one. Then the last one had like a dish. This one's just got that little bar on there, eh? That is my internet right now. Super fast. Really happy with it. Really happy with it. It's way better. Hey, Diesel. Where's your, uh, where's your follower, man? These cement pads here, if you've ever wondered, that's supposed to be for picnic table. That was actually a part of the deal. That picnic table was supposed to stay here with the house when I bought it, and they took it anyways, and I just didn't complain. There they go. Get your energy out, guys. I want you to sleep all afternoon. Oh, keep going, keep going. This is my backyard, if you guys haven't seen it before. I was gonna mow it once more yet, just to pick up all the little leaves and whatnot, but it was actually a very old area. Uh, my house is newer. The house that was originally built here used to be in the back corner there where that shed is, and it burnt down. So then they built this house uh, four years ago, four or five years ago, and then they moved, and here I am. This house here, this is, this actually used to be a house that someone lived in. Like that was actually a legitimate house. When uh, we first settled this area, or not we, the people who came here, first settled, that was their, that was their home. Pretty crazy, eh? I mean, now it's changed quite a bit, but. The neighbor behind me there, his house is actually pretty new too. Uh, it used to be just bush back there, but it was already there when I bought my house. He is an, uh, a mechanic. So he has all these old cars back here for parts, I guess. Diesel, you got some slobber on your back from Sergeant. Ugh. You are disgusting, man. Why would you slobber all over your brother? Ugh. You hear the neighbor dog? I heard something, man. He's someone over here. Well, I can see your breath out here. That's pretty cool. Sergeant! Since daylight savings time has started, it gets dark really early. It's four o'clock outside right now. Which, yeah, sure, it looks bright and whatnot, but the sun is going down fast. It will probably be dark by six o'clock tonight. <sighs> Winter time. So, I'm gonna jump in my pickup truck. I wanna go out into the bush a little bit and just hang out. And I'm not gonna be able to get in there in the wintertime because the snow's gonna be too deep, right? Someone's got a backup beeper out here. What? In my town? Diesel, what do you think of that? He's got a backup beeper, man. Did you hear that thing? You hear that thing? Let's go cut the wires, man. It'll be fun. Let's do it. Diesel, that's not very nice. What in the world? It sounds like it's really close. If you don't know me that well, I hate backup beepers. And uh, this is all my laundry. <laughs> I gotta get through this today. This is my mission for tonight. I gotta load in the laundry right there, right now. Kitchen, I'll get to yet, whatever. But look at this, eh? eh? Clean tables, clean tables. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm taking Diesel with me. Sergeant's gonna stay here. He's, uh, he's learning. And I'm gonna go into the bush, and I trust Diesel a little more than I trust him. So I need to spend time with them individually as well. I can't always spend time with just one or the other. So Diesel won the lottery today, and he gets to come with me into the bush, our favorite place. So good to be back here in Western Canada, out in the prairies, and around my like-minded people. I feel at home again. <laughs> I haven't been home since, oh, 25 days before the elections. But we're gonna go be a little country. Oh, have you seen my new hat? 
I got it in the mail from one of you. I'm gonna give you uh, all of you who sent me something. I got a US flag, I got a Denmark flag, I got a hat, I got a card. I got a whole, uh, a whole bunch of stuff sent to me in the mail over the last month that I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. But first we're gonna go out into the bush. Uh, I did bring my camel hat with me, it's my new camel hat. Go Jess, go! And it says Winnipeg on it. Is it on this side, is it on this side? Winnipeg. Represent. Right, Diesel, you wanna go run around the bush a bit? Wanna go do some off-roading? That's what I thought. So we're a little ways into the bush here. Uh, don't wanna go too far away from town uh, because it's deer season right now and I don't have any neon orange clothing to wear and I'm wearing a camel hat, sort of like a, a almost like a camel sweater here, sort of the dark green sweater. So uh, I'm just gonna go to a popular spot for me you know, out in the bush where I know that there's not going to be any hunters around uh, I was going to go deep in there I was thinking of going deep into the bush but I realized it's hunting season uh, so there's all kinds of guys like I was telling you yesterday there's guys all over the place here and girls uh, with guns everybody's got their guns on them right now and they're all hunting or just shooting or just having fun so uh, I gotta be careful where I go right now Hopefully there's nobody there. Sort of just want to be alone. Hang out a little bit. Let Diesel run around. Just enjoy. You know, I moved here uh, to this area over a year ago now. But this is my home region, the southeast of Manitoba. And, you know, I can't say it enough how much I love being out here. I posted something on my Facebook a couple days ago, almost a week ago already, uh, that said a very true statement. It says, you cannot be in the woods and not be happy. So I wasn't having a bad day or anything, but you know, there's nothing wrong with making a good day even better. I'm going out into the bush. This is where I find true happiness. Even if I am having a bad day, you know, you just wander off into the wilderness for a while. You come out, I don't know, with a sense of renewal. Am I sounding weird to anybody? Does anybody else uh, know what I'm talking about? Or am I just flapping my gums here? All right, we've been driving for a few minutes into here. We're just coming out to the clearing where we're gonna hang out as long as we're the only ones here. Looks like we're the only ones here. So. And I have a good friend of mine who showed me this area when I first moved here. We don't talk very much anymore. I really gotta go catch up. I miss hanging out with them. Life gets crazy, you know? Especially when you're a long distance truck driver. Alright, where do we want them? Did they take all the fire pits away? Oh, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, it looks like they took all the fire pits away. Ah, oh, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> or are they still there? I don't know. Alright, Giver, let's go park on the beach here a little bit. There's a little bit of a beach here. I'll show you it in just a second. Bit of a lake right here. Now I'm gonna park with my tailgate facing that so I can sit on the tailgate. Someone had a fire here recently. I don't want to drive over any broken glass because you know bush fires they always got lots of beer bottles everywhere. I don't, I don't want to drive over any of that. There we go. Okay. They brought some chips and some pop and energy drinks and other drinks and stuff like that just to sit here and hang out. How many of you like to just do this, you know? Just come out all by yourself. Just hang out by yourself for an evening. Like, I love this. There's no shame in being what they would call, in quotation marks, a loner. I think being able to spend time alone with yourself and being content and not having to surround yourself with people all the time is healthy. And it's... Like I said, a sim uh, uh, it shows strength that you, you're you okay. You don't need anyone, you're okay. 
Not saying that you should always be by yourself like me. Like, I'm sort of the extreme version of the solitude kind of guy. I like the solitude. That's why I live out here in the bush. This is why I come out here and just hang out by myself. Because this is what makes me the most happy. And look at this sunset behind me. Right behind my truck there. <sighs> Perfect evening. All right, Diesel. Come on, bud. Just me and you hanging out. So technically, I'm not by myself. I brought Diesel with. <laughs> Diesel, where'd you go? Well, you can't just leave me alone by myself, man. <laughs> Why did I bring you with, then? Where's he? There he is. He's got to sniff the place out, man. I haven't been here in a few months. Don't go in the water. Thank you. I know that was close. You want to get on the box? Can you jump up on the box? Hey. Hey, Diesel, come sit on the box with me. Diesel, here. Get up here. Good boy. It's quite the jump, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, just take it in. Just, just, just take it in right now. Take it in. Especially all you city people who've never lived outside the city. Take it in and see what you're missing. This is my backyard. Well, almost. It took a little while to drive here, but you know what I mean. I did bring an energy drink with me. Because I'm... Hardcore like that. Oh, and now the best part. Enjoy it. Come on, bud. Diesel, come here. Come on. Come here. Hey, 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 man. I know you're busy, but you can fit me for a bit. Come here. Diesel, come here. Diesel, come here. Sit. Sit. Stay here for a bit. Sit down. Sit. 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 Careful in there, Diesel. There's glass in there. See, I told you there's broken glass bottles in these things. Why do they always gotta smash their beer bottles? Seriously, just have a fire and take your beer bottles back and return them. You get money for them. Listening to QX104 right now. I was listening to uh, Steinbach's 1077. That's what I usually listen to, but I didn't like the song they were playing for a little while there. <laughs> it was boring. But uh, I was actually on the radio on 107.7 just uh, about a month ago. Are you gonna ride back there? You can stay back there if you want. You just just don't jump out. You've never done that before, man. Never ridden back there before. Are you gonna stay? Let's see if he stays. It's the worst that could happen. Stay. Hey, Diesel. How you doing, bud? You having fun? You having fun? You've never ridden in the box before. That looks like lots of fun. <laughs> He's loving it back there. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I've never let him ride in the back before. I guess, I don't know. Want to come out into the bush, maybe that'll be a habit. We'll let him ride in the back. It's a little treat for him. He's just having a blast. <laughs> so we're going to head back home. Uh, I would go further, like I said. I wanted to go further into the remote wilderness but it's hunting season right now and uh, it's probably not smart to be out there right now with everyone looking for deer and bullets flying around. So. I don't have the proper uh, hunting gear, so. Maybe that's what we'll pick up this weekend or tomorrow. Maybe I'll go into Cabela's in Winnipeg and get me some like orange clothing so that I can actually do that. Let's see. Tight corner, tight corner. So the spot we were at is like a little local spot. It's not very many people know about it. It's a sort of a natural little pond there that the locals have sort of turned into a little mini beach. Can you guys hear the geese? If you listen very carefully, the whole pile of them, they're all going south. 
Smart animals. Get out of here. Winter's coming. Get out of here. I would if I could too. There they are. Though curiously, they're flying north. You're going the wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, they must be confused. So we're just waiting for the vlog to render. It's taking a little longer today because I'm rendering it in 1080p HD. This is the vlog that you watched yesterday. Yes, most of you saw this already. Dog hair, both a condiment and a fashion accessory. Absolutely. So we got some fish cooking in there right now. I'm gonna quickly eat that and probably just relax for the rest of the evening here. It's just nice to be home. What do you need to go outside or something? Is that what you're, is that what you're doing here? Gotta clean up this wire and everything here, yes man. So got lots to do boys. So got lots to do. I wanted to give a special thank you to Jacob Federson who sent me a flag from Denmark, his home country. And I also got a, a letter here from uh, the family that sent me that Kentucky flag that's over on my wall over there. They also now sent me a matching uh, size of an American flag that I can fly over there. I guess I'm gonna have to take those other two American flags down, otherwise that wall will be a little too Americanized. Maybe I'll put some Canada flags in there yet, I don't know. We also got a new fetch toy for the boys in the mail here. They love this. We have one, but it's so, so broken up already, it's good to get a new one. It's gonna be their favorite toy. And I got all this candy from mom. <laughs> I went to her house on the way home yesterday. Trick or treat! So, I, I'm 27 and I still go trick or treating to mom's house. That was my day of relaxing, guys. Glad you joined me. Tomorrow's another day. It starts at 4 a.m. Central Time. I hope you'll be there. Go down below to the description. There's links to past vlogs of mine to what I was doing on this day one and two years ago. Also, a whole pile of other stuff down there. You guys all know about it already. If you don't, it's down there. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you tomorrow.